The federal government is launching several proposals to tackle the student loan debt crisis, and a recent one is aimed at lowering the amount of those repayments. Nevada State College also trying different things to lessen the debt burden for students. Joshua Pagaro visited the school as its president says she's focused on providing affordable education. For us, reducing the cost of education is essential to the state, and that's what Nevada State does. Darian Pollard is only giving her second state of the college address. Continue to be mindful she of took the helm as president of Nevada State College in 2021, and her intentions are to close the gap between rich and poor, especially when it comes to access to college. We also do other things to help support students to get to the end to the degree. They include scholarship opportunities. Nevada State recently received $1.3 million in federal grants. This is to help first-generation college students obtain doctoral degrees. 80% of Nevada State college students and alumni end up staying in the area, and there's a focus in the school on educating the next generation of teachers. It will cover all tuition and fees after financial aid for one year for students pursuing a degree in teacher education. It's part of an idea, Pollard says, to incentivize students. For us, tightly coupling ourselves with CCSD and being a co-creator of solutions rather than a critic has been a powerful opportunity for us. Nevada State boasts a high retention rate among first-generation college students. Zaini Smith is one of those students. My father was um, diagnosed with a chronic illness, and over time he was no longer able to work. There have been times throughout my life where my siblings and I had to step up to help at home. Pollard says she'll be working with legislators in Carson City this upcoming session to increase funding. At Nevada State College, Joshua Peguero, 8 News Now.